Assalamualaikum everyone, hari ini saya nak take you along on how kami pasang the aluminium louvers dekat our DIY sliding door. This is part 2 and the final step before we can officially say that our sliding door ni dah siap. For the link to the tutorial on the sliding door itself, saya share in the descriptions below. Saya buat the sliding door pakai a phantom sliding door hardware, jadi tak ada any visible tracks dekat the floor or the ceiling. For more details on this, boleh check out my previous video. So, this is where I left things. Ada the cap dekat atas ni. Dalam original design saya, saya nak carry the perspex all the way up. Tapi, Aizat yang suggest untuk letak louvers instead for better air circulation for our laundry area. Walaupun the dryer memang vented out of the house, tapi masih ada some residual heat in the area when the dryer is running. Bila pasang louvers, kami boleh leave the door closed and tak perlu risau that the laundry area tu nanti stuffy. Kami beli the supplies for the aluminium louvers dari kedai aluminium yang dekat dengan rumah kami sahaja. Perlu beli the aluminium louver blades dan the C-channel sahaja. Kami minta the kedai untuk potong semua parts to size terus. Jadi bila kami balik tu, tak payah nak deal with any cuts at all. Kami beli yang warna silver since tak ada ready-made ones yang in black. Once dah dapat all the pieces, double check to see if everything is the right size. Lepas tu, saya pun cat everything pakai my favourite matte black spray paint dari Mr. DIY. The louvers ni ada atas the door and away from things, jadi dia selamat from any risk of scratches. Saya leave them to dry for a full day terus. Yang nampak tak rata dalam video ni sebab those ones baru lepas kena spray. Kalau memang buat a light coat, dia akan kering rata insya Allah. Better buat 2 to 3 light coats dari 1 thick coat bila kita cat, tak kira lah pakai spray paint ke, berus or roller. First thing yang kami pasang is the C-channel belah kiri and kanan. Kami pakai liquid nails dan biar ada adhesive kering sepenuhnya. Lepas tu, kami insert semua louver blades terus in between the C-channels. Kena insert the louvers diagonally, slide down dan stack them on top of each other. Kalau kami install the louver into place terus, memang tak muat nak slide in the louvers especially for the last few blades. Nak figure out the best adhesive and cara nak install the louvers bagi tak comok sangat pun ambil masa dalam sejam. What we figured out was that we need the adhesive to be quite thick. Almost similar colour to the louvers, still movable in the first 2 minutes of application, tapi akan kering in less than 5 minutes. And we finally found a solution. Kami pakai this 4 minutes steel epoxy. This epoxy bila kering warna dark grey. Dan dia akan cure dalam 4 minit. The only thing yang leceh is that saya kena mix the epoxy and the hardener tu in small batches because it will fully harden by the time kita orang ready nak install the next blade. Untuk setiap blade, saya akan bancuh a fresh batch. Kena mix part A dan part B in equal parts dan mix sampai the colour is even. After that, kami apply the epoxy to the louver blade or the C-channel and kena pegang the blade in place sampai the epoxy tu dah keras. Once they're happy with the position, boleh pakai wet wipes dan remove any excess epoxy. This step penting sebab kalau epoxy tu dah keras, sangatlah susah nak clean it up. For every blade, kami berdiri lah atas tangga for 4 minutes each sampai the blade tu tak boleh gerak. The aluminium pieces tu was spray painted only, memang tak boleh pakai clamps or tape to help in this process without risking damaging the paint job. And cara kami find out the spacing between the louvers pun senang je. Kami ukur the opening dari atas dan bawah, lepas tu bahagi dengan the 10 louver blades yang kami nak pasang. Once I install one blade, baru kami ukur and tanda. Every three blades, saya akan check dari jauh if ada yang nampak singit. Tapi Alhamdulillah, we didn't make that mistake this time. Kami repeat this step sampailah settle pasang the last louver blade. From this video, korang boleh nampak that the louver semua duduk within the C-channel and where kami apply the epoxy. And that was it. Installation awal masa 2.5 jam and the first hour tu pun just to troubleshoot. Lepas tu, it was just mostly waiting for the epoxy to harden. And now I can say our sliding door is officially done. For the links to all of my supplies, I share in the descriptions below. If korang rasa this video was helpful, click like and subscribe for more how-to videos. Thanks for watching everyone. Till next time.